Vancouver always had a quite a steady supply of fairly high quality white heroin that people bought in forms of powder and over the last three years that's totally been replaced by fentanyl. It's a hundred times more powerful gram per gram than heroin. Last year in, the, in this province there was over 20,000 overdoses. So it's a lot of And how many people. deaths? Um, about almost 2,000. The current crisis is because people are using poison drugs and if there was a you know, any other poisoning happening, like one person, you know, bought some contaminated cheese. We'd, we'd do something right away. We would not tolerate that. Yeah. Interestingly, over here, we can see a cannabis dispensary shop. And as yeah. of last month, that's not criminalized. In fact, that's, that, that place may not have a license, but those yeah. people are buying that legally. So how has yeah. that changed things? Is that a good or a bad thing? By on principle, I think all drugs should be uh, decriminalized. So I'm totally, you know, we, we should be able to do that. I have a regulated, controlled supply. I'm at the point now where we really need to think seriously about giving people a safer supply of opiates. The first biggest reason is people won't overdose because we'll know, they'll know what they're getting. But the other thing is to take people out of this endless cycle of searching for drugs. And right now, a lot of people wake up in the morning and they spend the next 15 or 18 hours hustling drugs. And it's just like they'll never be able to get out of that. And so if we say, okay, here's the drugs, let's work with for you free. on other things. For free, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I think it probably for most people, they have no money. We'd, we, we'd have to give it for free. Yeah. You, you've made a, quite a name for yourself as a radical thinker and, and an innovator around this kind of stuff. What's your idea for making this scalable? I've been working with a company to have dispensing machines, these biometric machines. Vending machines, like you'd buy candy or sweets. Well, kind of I'm trying to get the idea that they're um, ATM machines. ATM so machines. So they're yeah. not things you can kick in the front and steal a bag of candy. They're um, basically 800 pound steel boxes and it's a biometric thing that reads the palm, your palm, can know who you are, we can program the machine to give out certain amounts of drugs as we see fit and there'd have to be some criteria, some group of check boxes, probably from a health professional would do that. So not just an online thing, there would be a, a health professional making an assessment? Now you're being the innovator. Sure, let's do it online. <laughs> so, I think these ideas could, you know, develop over time. Um, Right now, I think people could be comfortable with um, some kind of medical assessment. Graham Alexander Bell, who invented the telephone, famously said, one day there'll be one of these in every town in America. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> and I expect we've both got one in our pockets right now. Yeah, yeah. What's your vision for how scalable this could be? I'm hoping I can overcome a few regulatory hurdles in the next, let's say, three months to get at least one going. Um, is it expensive it, to get it off the ground? Well, like how much would a machine cost? Yeah, um, probably, you know, thirty to fifty thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars. Probably if we got a whole network, we'd like lease them or something. Yeah. So they wouldn't be free, but they'd be way cheaper than taking people to the hospital after overdoses. And they'd be way cheaper than seeing doctors for prescriptions. They'd certainly be way cheaper than the Crosstown model. So it's um, they're not it's not free. It's not a free. Um, solution but um, this to me is the only um, low barrier scalable way that we could and regulated way that we could actually do it so I'm hoping that there's a flip uh, a switch that flips and goes yeah actually this is a viable way to offer people a safer alternative cool we'll see <laughs> so.